Welcome back to another video. My name is Lachey, for all who don't know. Um, this, sorry for the glare um, in the glasses, but um, I wanted to talk about um, about the exit interview. Um, the college I went to, we had to do an exit interview, uh, kind of like the last semester of the my college days. <laughs> Um, an exit interview is like when you go in front of a panel of teachers, the dean, um, and you talk about what you did throughout the years, uh, or, or the semesters or like, um, what you, um, learned and stuff like that. Uh, they do ask you questions at the end after you're done talking. Like, I guess you make a little speech, but after that, they do ask you questions um like based on what you learned and you do need to know it um because they can fail you um like i know i remember one of my questions was like um what is the normal range of temperature for an adult or stuff like that um it will be different kinds of teachers um the dean i don't remember her asking me questions but she probably did um uh, but i'm gonna show you what they could get what they supposed to give you um, I will show you the front, but it has my college on it. And people are crazy nowadays, but, um, this is my portfolio. And I guess I'll show you like that. Like, it's like that. Um, it has the college on the front. But this is my portfolio they gave me at the beginning of the college, um, the beginning of semesters when I first started. It has a dent. It's been everywhere. Um, but inside, you, you have to get, like, um, uh, like, dividers, and everything that you got an A on or that you excelled on or everything that um, the teacher wrote, good job and stuff like that, or everything you learned um, goes in here, um, like essays, um, just uh, like quizzes, all types of stuff. Uh, of course, it's upside down, but... <laughs> And um, you write, uh, you have your resume in here. I guess like um, they help you do a resume at the end or whenever in your semester. Uh, let's see. They ha I have uh, when I, uh, an elevator speech, like saying your name, college, you know, what do you hope to obtain with this medical assistant degree, certificate, diploma, anything you get. Um, you know, you talk about your clinical skills stuff like that um your uh all types of administrative skills all types of stuff uh i have an english essay in here uh what else i got i have purchase orders that you learn to do uh stuff that you learn to do intern reflection um at the end of the year or end of the semesters you know you write what you learn at your intern and your mistakes and everything like that or what you wish you could learn i have an essay on my blood type. Uh, what else is in here? Just giving you examples of what's in here. I have a health insurance claim form. Um, I have what I did for the day. Uh, actually, this is um, a letter that we had to write. So our internship um, expressing like, why do I want to work for them? You know, just to help you get that, that job that you want. Um, this is another thing. What I did at my internship, I gave a prolia injection because my internship, I was working at an um, endocrinologist office. We were doing, my endocrinologist office had one side for the, you know, the patients that was there to see him. And plus my endocrinologist was also a research um, person um, that, you know, had people coming in to, you know, do clinical um, trials on, uh, you know, pills that just came out. So I was over there learning how to spin blood, how to, you know, ship off urine, how to, uh, you know, do EKGs, um, prolia injections, um, all types of stuff. Uh, let me see. Um, this is, uh, I have a, a email for medical insurance claims, uh, writing back someone about a billing question. And a lot of these, the rest of them are just like what I did in my internship, but make sure you fill this up with some good stuff because they will be looking at it 
Um, I remember uh, the day of my, um, my, uh, see, brain fart. <laughs> the day of, I had to do it, and I was just like, I was praying and praying and praying because it, it, it was, it was scary. It was a scary thing. But uh, my exit interview, I was praying, 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 because you don't know who you're going in front of. You don't know which teacher is it. You don't know the dean will really be there. You don't, they, I mean, all eyes are on you. I'm not trying to scare you, but I was just letting you know. <laughs> but yeah, all eyes are on you. It's, it's, it's crazy. Um, so just make sure you try your best, you know, because medical assistant, it's a lot. To me, um, I, we do everything the nurse do. Like some, like one job I had where um, I was working in internal medicine and he had a patient every 15 minutes, every one o'clock, one fifteen, one. you know, excuse me. So um, it was hectic and you know, he had different rooms. Um, so, you know, a lot of doctors are different, um, but every 15 minutes at, and then at the end of the day, he always had a surgery to do. He made sure that his last patient was a patient to like remove a mole, remove anything. Um, but yeah, it's it's a lot. So just try your best. Try to learn everything you can. Don't rush. If you got questions, ask questions. Because the exit interview is basically stating whether or not you're ready to be out there in a the medical field. I was sitting there in the library researching questions like trying to learn every single thing like trying to my mind was just jumbled because i was trying to remember everything that i was taught every like oh do i remember how are, are they going to ask me about the health insurance form are they going to ask me about you know what i did my internship they're going to ask me about if i um how did i spend blood on my internship or they're going to ask me about vitals or how to get this shot what angle you give this shot it's a lot so when they say study for a test, that means study, seriously. But I'm leaning because I don't like that that glare in my glasses. But um, so when you guys get your portfolio, try and fill it up as best as you can, as much as you can. Try and get A's, even put a couple B's in there. You know, just try. Try your best, that's all you can do. Um, but if you have questions, just let me know. Um, April 10th will be my six years being a medical assistant. So just let me know. You guys have a blessed one. Bye.